Consider a solid cylinder of radius r, let its radius be r, and height h. Height h. We need to find the moment of inertia of this solid cylinder about the axis y y dash. The axis is such that it passes through the, it is along the axis of the cylinder. That is passing through the top and bottom circle through its center and perpendicular to its plane. For that, let us consider a, a strip of a thin hollow cylindrical shell in here like this. That is, let us consider a hollow shell of cylinder like this. Let the thickness of the let this be a hollow hollow shell, cylindrical shell, and let its thickness be let its thickness be dx dx and the distance from the axis be x. Let, it, uh, let the thickness be very small. And let's call this point O. So the mass of the let the mass of the let M be the mass of the cylinder. Mass of the cylinder. And let rho be the mass per unit volume. Mass per unit volume. So, the mass of this hollow shell will be that the mass of the hollow shell will be, let's take that as dm. Mass of the hollow shell, be, hollow shell will be the volume of the hollow shell times its density, the mass per unit volume rho. So, you know, the volume of this shell will be the area, area of this strip into this height. Clear. If you open this strip, it will be like a rectangle. It will be like a rectangle with length is equal to 2 pi x and thickness dx. So this strip will be like this. And the volume of this shell will be since this is equal to h we have the area volume is equal to area into height that is 2 pi x in dx that's the area 2 pi x dx area is equal to 2 pi x dx since it is a rectangle area equal to length into breadth into height so volume will be 2 pi x dx into h times density rho but you know 2 pi x 2 pi h x dx you can write it in this way taking the h to this side density or mass per unit volume we already take the mass as m mass divided by you know density density or mass per unit volume equal to mass divided by volume of the cylinder you know the volume of the cylinder is equal to pi r square h where r is the radius of the cylinder and h is its height. So pi r square h. Cancel this h and h. You can cancel this pi and this pi. So the equation become 2m by r square 2m by r square x dx. So that's the mass of the hollow shell, hollow cylindrical shell. Let's call that as equation number one. Now, we have to find the moment of inertia of this shell about the axis. Let's call the moment of inertia di. Moment of inertia of this shell about the axis will be, you know, moment of inertia will be the mass times 
the distance of the mass from the axis that is x square that is equal to you know dm is equal to 2m by r square x dx times x square that's a moment of inertia where di is the moment of inertia of the hollow shell, hollow cylindrical cylindrical shell. I mean that green one. Okay. So in order to get the total moment of inertia, you must integrate this one. That is 2m by r square x times x square equal to x cube dx. Since the variable is x, x can vary from 0 to here x is equal to 0, here x is equal to r. x is equal to 0 to x is equal to r. So 0 to r. So if you integrate this, you can take this 2m by r square forms outside 2m by r square since it is a constant, integral 0 to r x cube dx it is equal to 2m by r square integral of x cube equal to x raised to 4 divided by 4 0 to r now put the upper and lower limit 2m by r square into r raised to 4 divided by 4 cancel this 2 and 4 you will get 2 r square and r raised to 4 you get r square so the answer will be m r square by 2 therefore the moment of inertia of the cylinder or the solid cylinder is equal to i equal to m r square by 2 this is same as that of the moment of inertia of a circular disc 